up off please. Everybody will step up. to your cell phones or on the side, please. We come here today to celebrate the life and lay to rest. Clayton, Paul Snyder, he survived by his wife Marjorie, son Chris, and wife his wife Stephanie, daughter Wendy and Frankie, and brother Perry and Beulah. Three grandchildren also survived. You know we live in a. Uh, uncertain times and I know this is a tough time in your life uh, regardless of what's going on in the rest of the world and what a blessing is we talked about to know that one day after a while if we know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that this is not the end it's only the beginning it's his beginning and he wouldn't come back if he could as much as he loves you. Because, and I, and I think I said this in, uh, to somebody that I talked to, it's kind of like the Brad Paisley song, Waiting on a Woman. And that's what he's going to do for a few days, for a few years, whatever the case may be. He's going to wait on a woman. You know, the Bible said in one place, people begin to wonder how do, we, how do we comfort one another when, when people pass on? What do we do? Because we've all heard it before, haven't we? I don't know what to say. You know, I, I, I dread going to the funeral home because I don't know what to say or do. But the Bible tells us and gives us a little instruction and it says this. It says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. 
For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. And he finishes by saying this, Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. You know, that's really the only comfort we have is knowing Jesus Christ and knowing that one day after a while that we'll meet again. I know this is a hard day for you. It's got to be. I can't tell you that I know how you feel because I don't. But I do know this. God knows exactly how you feel. And God is the only one that's able to provide you with the comfort that you'll need in the days to come, in the weeks to come, and years to come. And he'll, he'll, he'll let your family do the same for you. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, you know, I talked with Wendy uh, a little bit. You know, we talked on the phone and before things changed a little bit, and she said, I don't want you to say the stuff I'm going to say, you know. And I said, well, Wendy, I promise you I won't because you know better than I do all these things. But I tell you what, 50-something years, God blessed you. What a wonderful blessing because that's unheard of today. You don't hear of that a lot. You know, in the very beginning, God said, you know, it's not good that man's alone. You know, so he made woman to put with man. And that's been the way we've lived since the beginning of time. Let's go to the Lord in prayer and thank him for this day. And thank him for the years you had. And thank him for this lovely family that you've got surrounding you. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you today, God, with heavy hearts and with and with happy hearts. Lord, because we know that if we know you, that we'll all come together again one day after a while. We'll all meet in the air, and we'll all hear the angel band sing. Lord, thank you for this family, God, and we ask that you go with them through days to come, especially Marjorie. Lord, would you, at some point in time, let the grief turn into remembrance, and let the remembrance be a happy one. And these things we ask in your son's precious name. Amen. If able, please rise for rendering of military honors. Read that.
behalf of the President of the United States, United States Air Force, and a grateful nation, please accept the flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Signatures on here. If it were for our circumstance, we understand. We have a special coin. It's our special coin. It depicts our flag line. I'd like you to have that. Thank you. And thank you for fighting us. Thank you so much. Closing remarks before we depart. Yeah, for now, on behalf of the Department of Veteran Affairs, uh, Department of the United States Air Force, we'd like to extend our condolences to you for the passing of your loved one. Now, if you guys have any additional questions or concerns, our phone number is on the front of the packet that you receive from Susan up front, number in the back of the cemetery here at the administration building, okay? Please don't just give you a call. Okay. All right, I'm turning back over to the funeral director. He's going to have a few closing remarks, and we're going to need any dismissal here. Okay. On behalf of the entire staff of Darby Funeral, we truly appreciate your family's confidence, and in these trying times, we appreciate your patience with the situation we had to work with. So at this time, this concludes the service. If you all rise and just pass to your car, and this concludes the service.